Hi everyone, it's TTL back with another rush kit for you and today we're going to be taking a look at the Z370 Gaming Pro Carbon AC. If it's past the 5th of October when you watch this video, there will be a full review of the godlike motherboard on the main OC3D TV channel if you'd like to go and have a look at that board as well. Um, but we have done a preview of it if you're watching it before. Obviously I'm having to record stuff ahead of time. So I've only taken pictures of the board so far but it does mean I have had a look inside the box and you do get a uh, Wi-Fi card which you, you have to clip in. Now you don't need to worry about it taking away PCR Express lanes because as long as you use one of the black PCR Express 1 slots that are on the board that actually uses PCR Express lanes from the chipset because you do get lanes from the chipset as well. Um, so like when you use lanes from a chipset that's the same sort of lanes that you'd be using for your M.2 ports and stuff like that. So um, yeah, so you don't necessarily need to worry, but it is going to take up a, an expansion slot at the back. I'm not sure how you feel about that, but I don't particularly like it. But then again, I'm not the greatest fan of wireless anyway. Get driver CD in there, you get some cable stickers that I can't get hold of. You get some cable stickers in there as well. And then you just get the usual kind of um, RGB cables, um, you know, like extension cables. And then you get, uh, that's a controllable RGB cable, the IO shield, and it doesn't have any of the annoying um, metal tabs or anything on the back, so it's a nice IO shield, and four SATA cables. So nothing particularly exciting, but I suppose the main thing to kind of take away from that is you do get the um, RGB extension cables and including the controllable RGB cable as well. Looking at the board itself, it is all very familiar MSI carbon stuff. One thing I will say though is that the heat sink that goes across the VRMs around the top, it's actually got a really nice kind of curvaceous feel to it. There's a lot of material around here as well. You can see that we've got quite a few power phases around the outside of the board. I'm not too sure if I'm honest about the, the lines that have appeared on the design, but you know, we're, kind of, we're, we're meant to be doing just a quick skim, so we'll go past that. Carbon, and it is a te there is a texture to it as well. It's not like it's printed. It's almost like they've, I mean, you can see the trippy bit on the, the writing if you get it in the wrong kind of angle. Um, but that follows on down onto the, the main heat sink there as well. So if we talk about fans, CPU fan one there, pump fan, system fan, another system fan, system fan and another system fan. We've got um, one M.2 port there with a shield and you get another M.2 down there without shield. That's just an 8T, that one goes up to 110 mil. You can also see the little bit of plastic there means that we know we've got a thermal pad underneath it. Um, you can see around the memory slots, that's all the sort of bracing and support for the memory slots. It doesn't light up around there as far as I know, but I've not lit this up yet, so I'm not 100% sure. Although, lighten it up, mm, yeah, okay. Um, so then we've got uh, more uh, bracing around this, uh, around the PCI Express. You can see this one here doesn't, and that's because this one here is actually wired into the chipset. So only those two go into the CPU, all of the other ones go into the chipset. See so SATA around the back, I am trying to whiz through this. You do n nicely get a vertical and a horizontal um, SATA 3. So then round the back, I'm actually really glad to say that compared to the Asus boards, this one doesn't have a massive DVI around the back. And you can see that we've got HDMI and a display port, a couple of USBs, USB 3.1 um, here with an A and a C, more USB 3s, and then your gigabit ethernet, gold-plated audio connections as well. Due to some sorcery, I can show you the LEDs, and they are LEDs as well. As you can see red there, you can see there is a little bit of a red glow coming from underneath by the way. You've got the audio trail up here, there's a little bit of a red glow around the back. But if I tilt it around this way, you can see that we have red LEDs down near the 24 pin. So they are red um, and I'm going to assume, because normally with the boards when I wire them up like this, what normally happens is they will instantly just cycle if they're RGB. So I'm going to assume that they've just kept these red. But as I'm trying to keep things short and sweet, because this is Rush Kit, that's me, I'm done, we're out.